Hello, hello, this is Sebastian Moyapasa from Tucson, Arizona, uh, United States, and this time we're going to talk about how to recognize primary immunization in perfect copper system. Okay, and the first mineral that we talked about it, it was calcopyrite, copper, iron, uh, sulfur, all the yellow, or yellow, right? And this is the vein, right? It's a vein, and that's how, how we can see it. Okay, and the second matter, very, very important, it's this blue, it is in blue, bornite, copper, uh, copper iron sulfide too, and that's how we can see all this is bornite, you know, spotted, tiny, yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. And um, the second, uh, the third mineral, very important, it's molybdenite. We have this molybdenite vein, very nice. Uh, yeah, the next one is very important in, in the system. It's pyrite, right? Pyrite is an iron uh, sulfide. It's part of the perfect copper system. Uh, next one is uh, gonna show up another one, uh, pyrite, and you have uh, the, this. Uh, this is hematite coming uh, from uh, the magnetite. So at one point it was a uh, uh, magnetite in here. Now it's a uh, hematite. You know, you know, and. Uh, that's from the primary immunization. And uh, uh, another one in here, you see this uh, face like that. Let me add some water so we can see better. And uh, this one, this area, you know, all this, uh, this uh, uh, from the magnetite, hematite from the magnetite. And we have, uh, uh, calcopyrite, pyrite, and some molybdenite in this side. So it's it's a vein, you know, it was a vein like this, was broken. In the other side we have uh, like this, uh, mostly pyrite, almost everything is pyrite, you know. And, uh, uh, and the next one uh, 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 I have in this case, it's another vein of magnetite. This is a primary immunization. Me. And, uh, and and like places like this, you can see the, the vein of the magnetite, and we have pyrite, cacopyrite between the magnetite. That's it, that's a neat sample. I like it. And uh, other, other sample like this, you know, a magnetite vein, a, a quartz stoke work, and uh, Burn night in some places, and that's how it looks. The primary mineralization. You know, uh, last one probably is this uh, pyrite. I have a uh, pyrite in there. Let me add some water so we, we can see better. We add water, so we can see better. Yeah, like this pyrite. Pyrite, there's some spot at there, some little magnetite in there. And it, it's silicified, all this is silica. Original rock, uh, probably it was uh, um, granite, but now it, everything is silica. And uh, so the, uh, we talk about uh, the minerals. Now we are going to talk about uh, alter minerals of alteration. So one of the uh, minerals of alteration that I like to show, and I I like this one is secondary biotite and how it looks like. For me, the distinctive, very important one, you see the, this vein, dark, black, in some places brown, that is secondary biotite. So the, uh, this is the granite, but it has been removed uh, uh, biotite from some other places and it has been replaced in this vein. You, you can see it in here. Very nice uh, bang date in there, you know. So I think that that was uh, one of the examples. We, we we have more in here, but for me it's uh, very important this uh, bang date of uh, of um, secondary biotype. So another another way that's uh, how most common we can find it. Dark gray black, uh, like uh, this spot, 
uh, like like here that's secondary vitide secondary vitide and uh, this uh, the type of rock and this, this one is a monsonite so, so it, it originally you didn't see as much vitide in here because it came from somewhere else it's part of the alteration and uh, one more in there secondary vitide and uh, Next alteration will be sericide. So series, in order to generate sericide, you need to have a rock has uh, original uh, rock. It was um, um, K feldspar uh, orthoclase. So this orthoclase, when you scratch in some places, you see now is sericide. So it, it, you can scratch and you can see in the hand, hand lenses and. Uh, became serious. That's how the serious side it looks like in a, another places like, like this. In the sample that we saw before, uh, we have this spot like this. Yeah, it's a field with serious side. You can see that. And um, secondary biotide, magnetite, and uh, and I think we cover the, those parts. And now we can see how work the uh, the model right how it has been developed uh, the model of the perfect copper system so uh, origi original this is uh, from David uh, Lowell and John Gilbert 1969 and I do it uh, in black and white because that's how it has been done so the, in this chart we have mineralization this is uh, 0 0.1 0 0.5 so all these shapes is just uh, not it doesn't look too much, but the dark stuff is over 0.5, so all the black it's uh, over 0.5, and this is the pyrite zone. And we can see quartz sericide. They, they they put it in the lower uh, in the center, low gray center. They are uh, talking about copper and the uh, biotite, the secondary biotite that we saw. So the potassium alteration will be the center, sericide uh, next, and the next. Uh, uh, to make it the bell shape is a uh, outer propylitic zone. So in uh, one of the sites where we can see it, it's a magnetite, deep magnetite zone, deep magnetite zone in both cases. And uh, something uh, they did, it's, it's uh, uh, this is in section, this is the plan view, the horizontal slice. So th there's a fault in there and the re reason for that. So when we cut it, you, you can see a, a kind of circular shapes Outside of uh, outside the propylitic zone, circle shape, uh, uh, pyrite zone, and a quartz side zone, and uh, high gray dark block, and low grade in the center. So something. How did, did they find out in 1869? So uh, they they were working in the first uh, in the bottom part of the this uh, property. It was something like this. So they started to work first in the segment of Kalamazoo. So something uh, they did is uh, like this. They put the drill holes over here. They find propylitic, get, get out of the zone. They find uh, the center, they find the sericide, and get out of the zone again. So and, uh, uh, later, the, the three miles, uh, uh, the displacement from this fault, they found another area that was covered by conglomerates. They put a hole and uh, they entered in the propylitic zone, sericide zone, some copper. They put a holes in again and, and, uh, and uh, they uh, slide together and finally, you know, they, uh, they reconstruct the, the section that it looks like the bell, you know, uh, bell shape. And you know, this is the uh, plan view and and so that ha, uh, has been made in 1969 and then later in 1970 they put a colors right and they they put a colors you know uh, the, they put advanced argetic, propylitic, potassic, sericidic, and uh, the, how the mineralization is going to uh, show up, peripheral, uh, calcopara, galena, um, it's father right uh, gold silver pyrite the percentage and the, sh the pyrite shell and all this uh, uh, pyrite uh, two percent uh, magnetite pyrite you know it, it, it and this is from I think this is from 2000 or 1970 
uh, at 1970. So three years later, so that's how they, they show up. And later on, they continue working the periphery systems and say ups and downs, and so they make the, the system uh, like that, uh, and, and the periphery system, but other systems kind of kind of show up also. And uh, later on, they still continue working on the system. How it's going to be, uh, you know, all this proper copper system. So, yeah, now this is the scale. Uh, I think it's uh, seven kilometers from here to there. It's uh, maybe f 15, 10 kilometers on this side. They found they had a place with a uh, deposit of iron. Uh, gold, copper, epithermal deposits, quartz veins uh, deposits, copper, iron sulfides, and the magmatic uh, uh, center, fluids in the center, in some places where you can find uh, these uh, copper systems. So that, that one, it was also from 2000. So with that, I think we uh, cover basically almost everything you know, as much as we could about porphyry copper system. But most of the people they think, you know, where is all this information come from, right? So most of the uh, things that I'm talking about is my own experience. So I work for, you know, for this major big uh, perfect copper uh, companies in the world, but I respect all of their proprietary information. They consider, you know, leverage for them. I'm not going to make public any of those. It's uh, from my heart. That's my the way I do it. I respect the private uh, knowledge and information from the companies. And one of the public source that I I took from, you, you can find it, it's a, there's a perfect copper um, deposit model, and this is coming from 2010. Yeah, so anything that, you know, there's U, 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 SGIS, they make the publication, so at the end of, when they, they, they publish, right so it become public domain information so everything you, you want to know is in there and it's big source and the color charts that's coming from there and uh, the other very important uh, information or source information is the SEG in this case the geology and genesis of a major perfect copper deposits in the of the world attributed to Richard Sitoy very good information in here. So any major uh, perfect copper deposits are there. And uh, one of the uh, things that uh, I wanna add and make honor, honor, uh, it's uh, to this uh, book and person, it's a uh, intrepid explorer, David Lowell. And, uh, and that is where it's coming, the first uh, models of uh, what we call, um, you know, uh, David and Gilbert por uh, Porphyry Copper models in 1968-69. And before that, the uh, big company was uh, where they were working it was Anaconda Mining. There was uh, Anaconda Mining Exploration. They made the standards for, uh, for the industry of Porphyry Copper deposits. And, uh, but uh, I want to make honor. Uh, I never met him. I talk uh, with him by phone, but I never met him in person. But uh, he says in this book, that's mine, he said that in the uh, Escondida uh, uh, pro project of mine and now, the, this model of the perfect copper system in 1968-69 has been applied and made it discoveries. And the only reason he says it, um, it has been more common and everybody, you know, the names propagated, Felix, or uh, is coming from that, that time. It's because their uh, publication came first, but later on they show up other, other uh, publications and everything, but at the end people probably like, uh, you know, the way they present it or the time they present it at the beginning first. Okay, thank you very much. I, I hope you enjoy it, you like it, and if in somehow this information give you some value for you, you you know something big and you know a little bit more and uh, and you you like it, subscribe and uh, make a comment. But if you don't like, also put it. I don't like put it over there too. Thank you very much from my heart to yours. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Bye bye.